COVID-19 dimmed the lights and stopped the music at live entertainment venues across the country for more than a year. And while some found creative ways to stay open, most places, especially smaller venues, found it was easier to simply shut down. We figured it out like our max capacity would have been nine people. So that wasn't going to work. So what we did, I mean, we, we knew we had to shut down. Oh, but tonight they are ready for an encore. Community staples on both the east and the west sides of Cleveland ready to reopen after that long hiatus. News 5's Emily Hamilton brings us their stories of survival. I know that one day we're gonna say we wish we were young. After being closed for 15 months, Grog Shop in Cleveland Heights has now been open for 15 days. We're not back to what we were 2019 or early 2020, but I think we'll get there. As COVID-19 cases drop statewide and Ohioans are rolling up their sleeves for the vaccine, independent music venues are trying to fill seats, serve customers, and make up for a year's worth of lost cash flow. All of a sudden, the governor said we can be open. It seemed a little abrupt, even though I'm excited for it. I think we have to take baby steps to get back there. But jam packed wall to wall crowds are still a thing of the past for now, as business owners like Kathy Blackman are still aiming to keep live music lovers and staff members safe. On the west side, beloved Happy Dog announced its much anticipated reopening in late June. Happy Dog. Uh, not yet. We're going to open June 25th. Since making the announcement, owner Sean Watterson has been receiving phone calls like that one off the hook. I know. All right. Well, we'll see you then. The response has been so humbling. You know, it's just so incredible how happy it's making, making people and it's making us real happy to be able to come back. Gordon Square residents Elaine and Chris Ledzik have been keeping a watchful eye on their favorite dive bar, counting down the days until Cleveland's famous home of hot dogs reopens its doors. Oh, I've been getting text messages all day. It, they posted it on Facebook that their opening is June 25th. We snuck this one in once, but she's not had a chance to eat tater tots. Watterson says Happy Dogs reopening won't be all happy tears, though, as they'll honor close friends and family who lost their lives as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. We haven't been able to be together to celebrate successes and come together over the losses. Um, I think it's just going to be a pretty emotional. Both county and federal grants have made the dream of reopening possible for both businesses, along with support from longtime customers. Especially on this kind of side of Detroit Shoreway. It's really a community within a community, uh, which we just have missed. Uh, without it being open. Live music lovers amped for the rush of hearing their favorite songs performed live after more than a year of silence at their neighborhood nighttime favorites. They've been gone a whole year and we're ready for them to open back up. We're very, very excited. Reporting in Cleveland, Emily Hamilton, News 5.